Hi, my name is Johanna Bendel, and I'm the Director of Gastrointestinal Oncology Research at the Sarah Cannon Research Institute. I'm speaking to you today live from ASCO 2012 in Chicago, Illinois. I'm going to talk with you today a little bit about what we are seeing in terms of progress moving forward for patients with gastrointestinal cancers. In terms of colorectal cancer, we're going to see the results from two major trials this year, which show us that continuing anti-angiogenic therapy in the treatment of patients with advanced colorectal cancer is probably a good thing. And what I mean by continuing anti-angiogenic therapy is continuing it through multiple lines of chemotherapy, not just using it in the first or second line, but continuing it from the first to second to third line. We're going to see the results of the first study, which is called the CORRECT trial. This trial randomized patients with refractory colorectal cancer to an agent called regorafenib, which is an oral agent that blocks the VEGFR tyrosine kinase. What this does is it actually stops angiogenesis for tumors. Patients with advanced colon cancer were randomized to regorafenib versus best supportive care and placebo. And what we saw from the correct study is the patients who received the regorafenib lived longer than the patients who received the placebo. The benefit was six weeks in length in terms of averages of survival improvement, but yet these patients did live longer than the ones who did not receive regorafenib. We're also seeing results from the Velour study, which is a trial of a drug called Aflibercept, also known as VEGF-TRAP. This drug is also an anti-angiogenic drug, like regorafenib is an anti-angiogenic drug, but is given by IV and works by a slightly different mechanism. For patients in the second line with advanced colon colorectal cancer, patients were randomized to receiving chemotherapy with a drug, with a drug combination called Fulfiri plus a Flibercept versus Fulfiri alone. What we saw from the Valora study is that the addition of a Flibercept to Fulfiri chemotherapy showed that patients lived longer if they received the aflibercept versus if they did not receive the aflibercept. We're also seeing a third trial called the TML study. This study actually looked at continuing an anti-angiogenic agent we use called bevacizumab from the first line setting to the third line setting, or to the second line setting. Patients who received bevacizumab with oxaliplatin-based chemotherapy in the first line setting were randomized to arenotecan-based chemotherapy with or without bevacizumab in the second line setting. What we saw from the TML trial was the patients who received bevacizumab plus chemotherapy also lived longer than patients who received the chemotherapy alone. This entire theme from these three trials show us that continuing anti-angiogenic therapy is probably very important in the treatment of our patients with advanced colorectal cancer. We're also seeing some important new data on a new pathway we're attacking in multiple different types of cancers, including gastrointestinal cancers. This pathway is called the CMET pathway. This pathway is a growth factor pathway that also interacts with other growth factor pathways on the cell surface. What we are seeing in both gastric cancer and hepatocellular cancer is agents that attack the CMET pathway probably improve patients' outcomes versus not receiving these agents. These are very preliminary studies, but this gives us new hope at looking at CMET pathway inhibitors in other and these gastrointestinal cancers in the future. Thank you so much.